Hello, this is George Senda, the real, official, authentic, original, one and only the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy YouTube commentators, imposters, or trolls. And uh, there are a couple things. One, uh, I um, wish I had the GoPro 7. I don't know how it does in, in, in low light. Because there's times if I'd had it, you'd be seeing the videos. And this is uh, Squeaky's Mini Hall tonight. Because I went um, out to go to the store tonight. Because I was out of wet cat food for the outdoor cat. So I have one meal mix left. And I wish I had um, had it with me. So I go down the left side of the sidewalk. Because Squeaky's likes to come up to me when I'm going down the right side, and as well, squeakies won't hear me if I'm on the left side, so I'm walking my cane, and it's um, three, four, five, maybe six blocks to Starbucks, so I'm almost at the Starbucks, and I'm cross, starting to cross the street to head down the Amtrak to the bus, and I hear, rap, rap, and meow, and I go, what? And I look around, at first I don't see anything, and then under a car, meowing at me is Squeakies. He followed me to Starbucks. And I and he got out in the street, almost got hit by a car, and I said, Squeakies, get on the sidewalk, get out of the street, car stopped for him. And he's crying away, wanting me to feed him, and was happy to see me. And I go, Squeakies, I'm out of food, I'm going to get food, you have to go back. And then he started following another block, and I finally had to tap my cane real hard. That scared him back. He said, Squeakies, go back. Be safe. Get on the sidewalk. I'll be back. <laughs> now, it, you know, it always amazed me with Squeakies and Orangey that they follow me. And uh, last night I went and fed Tiny One Talkie and Orangey and Squeakies and Mama Cat and Kitten. And when I got done... I didn't feed Talkie uh, at first. I went to the post office. I'm starting to go into the post office. And who's sta sitting on the corner of the curb to the left of the post office at the, at the street across from the library? It's Talkie. And I said, Talkie, what are you doing over here? So he runs across the street, goes between this fenced area where the DA's office is. And I'm go over and talk, when I got my mail, go over and talk to him, and he's looking at me. I said, it's supper time, Talkie. He's still looking at me, but he's not making any move to come near me. So I go down to the corner, turn left, no, turn right, I'm sorry, turn right, get to the next corner. Who comes running down the sidewalk? It's Talkie, runs across the street, <laughs> so, meow, meow. So I fed him, gave him Gave uh, Tiny one a little more. I'd already, and then I had already fed Orangey and Squeakies. So these cats follow me. One night, Orangey followed me all the way to Starbucks and then all the way to the liquor store. And my cats have tried to follow me all the way to the liquor store, which is about eight blocks away. And uh, Squeakies does come all the way up to my building and uh, meows at me, but he doesn't have the courage to come upstairs yet. All right. I got to go out and feed the aforementioned uh, cats. By the way, the picture in this video is the temperatures in Minnesota. My friend Justin says his Jeep works fine, but he says it's absolutely brutal out there. So if you put it on full screen, you'll see how cold it is up there. I'm glad I'm not there. All right, we have here uh, 12 seafood favorites. Whitefish and tuna, tuna and salmon, and real salmon, and ocean fish. And we have this one. Now, I gave three to Mama Cat, Kitten, and Little Girl. Real chicken and liver, real chicken and beef, and turkey and giblets. So that's the cat food I bought for the night. Put money on Friday. I bought a loaf of garlic bread for me. Gorton's. Crispy battered fish fillets. And the ever popular pizza, which would be my dinner. I have to remember to keep an eye on it because I'm always forgetting about it when I get on the internet and wind up burning the damn thing. 
So anyway, I will go out and feed Squeaky and Talky and Tiny One and Orangey. And I have not seen Pretty One in days. I don't know what's going on with her. And by the way, to the haters who say I am begging, when I ask for help with wet cat food, I am not begging. I'm asking for cats who would otherwise starve without my help. And if you want to send wet cat food to me, send it to George Senda, 815 Court Street, number 786, Martinez, California, 94553. By the way, I'm not supposed to get mail at my house. There's a note in the mailbox. I went down the other day to talk to the mail lady, and in my box, that was in my mailbox. All of that. Because I get my mail at the post office. And some of this mail, including the one that broke me up, is an envelope from Scientology with a CD saying I can live a happier life. Yeah, I can live a happier life and not give my money to Scientology like Tom Cruise. And some of that mail in there was from 2018. It's been sitting there that long. I don't have a key to the mailbox because I don't... I'm, and I've talked to the carriers before and... There's a note, do not send here, take it all to the post office. So I'm going to have to go into the post office Friday and tell them. This is the important mail. Whoops, if I do that, everything will slide on the floor. <coughs> uh, I'll be glad to get more container things on Friday. <coughs> this is what I kept. And that whole bag is going to go in the recycling bin, but I'm going to take it to the post office and show it to the carrier supervisor, show it to the postmaster and say, Two years worth of mail. So 2018, 20, uh, 2017 was some mail. So it's incredible. All right. Uh, that's it for tonight. I'm going to go feed the kitties. By the way, it is actually warm out here. I wore my jacket and I came back all sweaty. So last night, though, I went out without a jacket, came back uh, feeling like I was having heartburn. I guess it was just too cold for my lungs. So that's what's going on. Uh, furthermore, I will be going to Alien Con, and I hope to have a GoPro 7 by that time, and uh, we will see how well that does. The only thing I, I wish the GoPro had, much like the Polaroid Cube, is a camera light. And I don't know why they've never come up with a camera light. I know it works in low light. I've watched some videos on beginners, what to do with the GoPro 7. I'm going to have to write the guy a question. It, what does it do at night? And I don't know because I've never watched GoPro stuff at night. It's always during the day. Some guy jogging, some guy skiing, some guy water skiing, some guy climbing a mountain. None of which I will do. <laughs> You'll never see me water ski because I might fall and cause an earthquake or a tidal wave or something. All right. This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. And... Um, uh, other things are going to be happening. And Kathy and I go out Friday. We go to dinner. And that will be our Valentine's dinner early. Because by the middle of the month, we're usually out of money. And uh, I do have a little bit of bright news. I called Capital One. And they said, if I keep making my payments this month, I'll make 85 Next month, I'll make 110 by June, my credit card will be paid off. I can use it again. I'll use that to pay for my airfare to go to Alien Con, so or my hotel room, whatever. And I'm going to be paying more rent than the rent, like I did last year. So by June, the rent will be paid, so that money can go for the trip, too. So I'm going. And if you guys want to help donate to either the trip or my getting a GoPro 7 Black, don't get the white one. It sucks. Um, you know where to send it. And uh, that's not begging. I'm just asking for donations. And if you, you think it's begging, too bad. I don't have $400 lying around, and a lot of people don't either. Or 200 for the airfare, or 200 something for the hotel room. I don't have it. i got to save it up. But I will be going in June and to the uh, Whole Life Expo in San Mateo on the weekend of my birthday, April 28th. And uh, that's it. This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great night. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be. Stay safe. And Justin and Jeremy, stay warm, buddies. 
Catch you next time. Bye-bye.